Well, folks, guess what day it is? Saturday Live. It's Saturday, and it's Saturday Live with Kim and Steve. Steve. <laughs> Again. Anyway, we, uh, we're we sitting in our truck here, and we're in Morton's Arbor, and actually in ta on Taylor's room, yes. which is where I grew up. Yes. It's where I did a video last year of my mom and dad's house where they had lived all their lives for 70 years and then they had moved to Lewisport. Yes, where we are. And I think we were talking about being thankful and all that kind of stuff then. Yes. And this being Thanksgiving weekend, we figured we should talk about being thankful for the things we have around us and for people in our lives. So today, we me are, and Kim. We are back in Taylor's room. Yes, we are. And Brittany Fudge is watching. Brittany's watching. Hi, Brittany. And Yogi's watching. Yogi is watching. So we're and back in Taylor's room. It's it's been raining and it's uh, and it's cold and but mostly the last few days it's been really 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 windy. So we wanted to show you what the what the ocean gets like when it's really really windy. It's still windy outside now. That's why we're still in the truck. So when we get outside, it will probably still be windy. But the sea down here. The people around here say the sea is in mountains. Yes. So we're going to show you the sea and I absolutely love it here because when the sea crashes up against the rock, the spray goes everywhere and I could sit here 24 hours a day just watching the waves. So we're going to get out of the truck. We're going to show you the waves and uh, it might be how, a bit hard to see because they're far away. Or... Yeah, we can zoom in maybe a little bit on some of them. But we'll just pan around and we'll show you what it's like. But it's absolutely mesmerizing to watch the waves and to see how big they get and how they crash up against the uh, the rocks. Brittany is Brittany's waving and saying waving. hi. Teresa. Lisa says hello too. Okay, and Teresa Teresa's is watching. Okay, cool. So yeah, we don't have much to say today just to show you uh, what these waves look like because they're pretty awesome today. Mm -hmm. And just to say that uh, we're very grateful very thankful yeah. to be living back home. We can come and visit our family anytime, whenever we want. Today we're visiting our family. Tomorrow we're having some dinner. big turkey dinner with hey, our family. Turkey time. Turkey, turkey time, time tomorrow. Turkey time. And yep. uh, yeah, we never ever had the opportunity to do these things before we moved home. So it's been great. Yeah. So let's go out and show everybody. So we're gonna. It's gonna be probably a bit windy. Yeah, it's a bit windy. And if you, when I turn the camera around, you're gonna see our little fishing boat which is my dad's old lobster boat that he used to use for fishing lobster that's right is there on the trailer uh with our board and everything on it and there's an old fish flake here that they used to dry fish on years ago yep we'll show you that and that is really old that's been here for years yes. longer than i can remember probably a hundred years yeah i'm not a hundred years old yet <laughs> happy thanksgiving heather says happy thanksgiving heather yeah happy thanksgiving Verna. Verna's watching. Verna's watching. Yep. So, so anyway, we're just going to take a turn the camera around. We're going to go outside. Yeah. It might be a bit of wind, so I don't know what the we'll audio is going to be like. But uh, talk close you know, to the camera. we'll talk as close as we can. Ignore the wind. And, but you got to uh, see these we'll waves. We'll try and just take a few videos. There's a Over little... there by the lighthouse is pounding. Yeah. So we're going to give that a try here now in a second. So I just switched. Okay, so the camera's flipped around. And like I said, there's the old boat. Our little fishing boat that we use for when we go at Kajing. It's the same boat we were out in when Kim Summer. was getting uh, full of uh, squid stuff. Yes. When we were uh, out squid jigging that day. Yes. And we've gone out in that one and went up on the rocks and had some barbecue. barbecue. So it's, again, it's an old Newfoundland fishing boat. It's nothing fancy. Nope. But it works. Yeah, Marie's watching. Yeah, Lorraine Burns. Hi, Lorraine. Okay, show everybody what these wings look like. Sure will. Yeah, so this is a well. This is the end of the road, and this is actually a, a mud puddle that my nephews are playing in. As yes. you can see, they've got their wheelbarrow here and their little toy thing. So yeah, it's what you call uh, making the most of everything you got around you. So they make mud pies right there, and of course they got a rake and everything else. So again, this is the old area. I'm just going to pan around so you can see. Uh, Show the house. That's the old boat. That's our fishing boat that we've fixed up last year and we use. And uh, then I'm going to pan around. There used to be a shed here that used to be leaning. 
And then this is the red house up there is my dad's old house that he had bought. And there's my brother. He's out on the, just walked out on the patio from <laughs> the white house there, which is the one my parents lived in and I grew up in. And there's an old house there next door. That's, uh, that's just a shed now. Our old salt box houses. And then we have another neighbor's house there. Our trucks. And then there's, and there's my aunt walking down the, <laughs> just gonna keep on panning around and you see this is the end of the road so it comes all the way down here and all those trees are apple trees yeah so those are apple trees in there and a great spot to go pick a few apples and then this is the harbor as it goes all the Brittany way around said, is that's the boat you get sick in yes Brittany. that is the one that I usually wolf my cookies in <laughs> yep and any other boat for that matter not okay. really particular but the kind of boat okay show anyway we just want to show you the ways before we either lose some battery power and again like I said this is an old flake that we used to would still use this from time to time drying fish on but this is the harbor and if you look way out there you can see the waves coming in there's a shoal right there that's breaking just off the shore and, uh, and actually this area right down to the end of the shoreline was called the dock and my great-grandfather used to build schooners down there Stanley Taylor his name was and uh, yeah they used to build schooners and everything so there's a couple of shoals way off there in the distance might be hard to see sorry for the wind but uh, yeah and that rock that's breaking right there we always call that the gall rock so yeah strange names but that's what we called it yes and you can see the waves way off there by the lighthouse. Let me see if we can pan in a pan little. Pan in a little. There you go. See. see if they break. Yeah, that's the boat, Lisa. I get seasick. Like I said, any boat. God said he lost lobster lost a lot. Traps. We lost more than one lobster trap out there, my buddy. I'm just going to pan in so you can see some of the waves. You see them going up the side of the cliff down there. There's a lot of waves. And that as get you come that. in, this is an and there you see all up along the shore. So there's nobody out in the boat here today. It's too, it's windy. It's too windy today. Too windy. And uh, as you can see, the waves just hitting the rocks. There's a few shoals out here. Oops, sorry. And that's the harbor. So that leads out to the Atlantic, all the way across to England, wherever you want to go. Um, but that's what it's like here today. It's pretty windy. It's cold and windy. And we're just going to duck in here a little bit just to get out of the wind. And this is Morton's Harbor. Let's see if I can zoom back out. I'm not sure if I can. 